excuse me. All I remember is uh, he had on the green, green Bay Packers jersey. Okay. So, at this point, you said you guys are face to face in the truck. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. okay. And you're kind of going back and forth with each other again. What happens? What happens after the name calling? What happens? Nothing physical happens. It's just a lot of what you want to do. Or I ain't got to do this. Or we ain't got to, you know. So after that, he proceeds to start. I don't know. He's going reaching for something like he's grabbing his things or something. Okay. Where was he reaching for his things at at that point? In the front of the truck. When you say the front of the truck, what do you mean? The driving area or something else? Right, the driving area. Okay. Um, so he's grabbing for his keys and his stuff, and then what happens after that? So at this point, I exit the, uh, the truck. On what side? On the uh, passenger side. Okay. What happens next? <clears throat> I mean, after that, that's when he came around. He exited the truck out of the, uh, out, of the, out, of the out of the driver's side. Okay. When you exit the passenger side door, what was your plan? Were you leaving? Were you staying? Something else? Uh, my mind, you know, is trying to, you know, probably going to call my manager or something, and tell him this is not working out. Or I'm trying to figure out, you know, what's my next move because. In, you know, it's a bad vibe between me and him, you know. Did you ever get But I thought we was, you know, better enough to agree to disagree, you know. So I thought really that the that argument was over. Did you ever get the chance to call your covenant manager? No. What happens after you get out of the truck? Well, from my recollection, next thing I remember him coming around on the driver's side of the truck. Okay. And does he, where does he go when he comes around the driver's side? He, when he's coming out of the driver's side of the truck, um, he's jiggling something in his, in his, in his pocket. Okay. Now what, what pocket do you mean? Cause he's got a hoodie on, a black hoodie I think it was. Okay. And he's jiggling something. And the last thing I remember is when I looked down at it, that's when he came up with a knife like this. three more times? Yes, ma'am. Now, what are you doing? What are you saying? Are you saying anything during this time? No, um, at first I tried to brace myself to try to figure out what, <coughs> what I'm going to do. So, but he comes at me, you know, three more times. With, so I'm just really just jumping back. But it's, but he hit me. Okay. Now, what happens after he, he, he said stabs you about four times? What happens after that? Uh, that last one uh, kind of weakened me. So 
So I turned around and went into the store to ask somebody for help. Okay, what do you mean kind of weakened you? That last step. What do you mean by that? I really kind of felt really kind of weak. I couldn't really feel like I could counter anything after that. Okay. Um, <clears throat> now at that point, or prior, prior to him stabbing you, did you threaten to stab Mr. Teeter at any point? No, ma'am. Did you threaten to kill Mr. Teeter at any point? No, ma'am. Threatened to shoot him or anything else like that? No, ma'am. Now, did you at any point have a weapon on you? No, ma'am. Were there any other weapons in the truck besides this one that you knew about? I don't know if he had his crossbow or not, but he had a crossbow in the truck before. Okay. How about knives? No knives. Aside from that one? Oh, yeah, so. Now, when you turn, do you go directly to the store to ask for help or somewhere else? Yes, that's, that's my, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get into that store to find somebody. Okay. Now, do you recall, are you bleeding at that time? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, when you get into that store, let me ask you this, sorry, let me just take a step back. When you guys are outside of the truck at this point and he's stabbing you, about where are you? Are you in the front of the truck? Are you at the side of the truck or something else? We're like 10 feet, like going, we're in front of the truck. Yeah. Okay. We're not directly in front of the hood, but we're going, you know, driver Chris Teeter stabbed you that day at least four times. Do you see the person that stabbed you in court today? Uh, yeah. Can you just state for the record what he's wearing? Blue shirt. Okay. That's good enough. Thank you. Judge, I would ask the record to reflect you've identified the defendant. The record will reflect the witness has identified the defendant seated at counsel's table. Okay, so after you faint and fall on the ground, you said you only remember seeing an EMT lady, is that right? Yes. That's all you remember? What's the next thing that you remember after that? <clears throat> well, my last real vague memory was in the emergency room. I remember the doctor saying he cut off all his clothes. Okay. How about after that memory? What's 
the next thing you remember? I remember waking up in the ICU unit. Okay. Do you remember how long you were in the hospital for? When did you get released? It was from October the 12th to November the 15th. Okay. Do you know about how many surgeries you had during that time? I don't know exactly. I heard it was multiple. Okay. Now, Paul, how has this event changed your life, or has it changed your life in any way? Yes. How? Uh, this has been the lowest point of my life. Uh, I've always been a healthy person, been able to take care of myself, didn't have to depend on anybody. Um, I got four kids. When I uh, got hurt, I couldn't, I couldn't, obviously couldn't work, couldn't take care of my kids, could barely take care of myself. Uh, just a real dark moment. Now, how about follow-up care? Once you get home, back to Georgia, what kind of follow-up care did you have to go through um, medical-wise? Oh. I had to uh, add me on ventilators, trachinoscopy tubes. We, I couldn't get out of the hospital bed for like almost a month. I had to be bed in the bed. Um, so the recovery rehab was my digestive um, thing. Uh, all the, the hospital drugs that you're not used to. You know, sweating it out, you know, my posture, I had to learn how to really swallow and, and walk. Okay. How, <clears throat> how did this impact, if you know, how did this impact your family? How about your kids? Objection. Sustained. All right, Paul, how about today? Are you still having problems as, we sit, as you sit here today? Any physical problems related to this? Oh uh, yeah, they inserted a mesh, I think. It's just like a, a lot of scar tissue, just mobility. You know. um, sometimes when, you know, uh, if I have to go to the bathroom, it, it causes me a little pain. A little bit of scar tissue. You still have scars on your side? Oh yeah. Are they visible if someone were to look at them? 